Hey guys and welcome back to another Imagine Force tutorial. In today's video I'm going to be going over how to set up a true first person camera. So I have already done this previously, however that was probably over a year ago now, so I'm just doing a more up to date version of it, just because I think that might be quite helpful for you. So just before I show you what we're going to make, what you can see is this camera here, or this player sorry, has a first person camera, this has a third person camera, so this is the rough difference we're going to be making. So let me hit play and shoot what we're going to make today. So you can see that this is now in first person, we look down we can see our body and we can move about working perfectly like this and I'm also going to show you later on how to make different changes to make this look a little bit different and it may be better in your opinion so when you're walking like this you can see the arms coming up on screen if that's what you wanted as well. So this is what we're going over and created today so without further ado let me do this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open up our character blueprint which I imagine for you is going to be the third person character as that is the code we're going to be doing this in. We're changing it from third person to first person. So for me that's content, third person BP, blueprints, third person character and when we're in here we're going to go straight over to the viewport so we can mess about with all the camera and good stuff like this. So you'll notice that by default we have the camera room which is a spring arm and attached to that is our camera. What we want to do is we want to delete the camera boom and drag the camera onto our mesh. Now I'm also going to press F2 on the camera to rename it from follow camera to first person camera as that just makes more sense for me. So we now have our first person camera here. And because it is attached to the mesh, wherever the mesh goes, the camera also goes. And to get this even more specific, what we can do is set the parent socket on the camera to be the head bone, meaning wherever the head goes, the camera also goes. As you see now, it is moving around like this with the idle animation just because it is following the head socket, which again looks a lot better, especially when the player is idle, the camera is going to move perfectly like so as well. But you can see as well, this obviously isn't in the correct positioning, so we want to move it nice simple way of doing this is just resetting to default the location and it's moved all the way back there like so. I'm going to press E and rotate it 90 degrees on the X to get it facing the right way. You don't have to, it doesn't make a difference but I think it just looks better in the viewport like this. Then I'm also going to move it forward a bit so it's just in front of the player's face like that. So this is now what the player is going to be seeing through. If you have it too far back like this what you'll get is the camera will be clipping through the player's mesh and you'll be able to see that which we obviously don't want, so I'm going to move it forward a bit just so you can't see that. We'll compile and save that. That is now the positioning of the camera set up, but this isn't going to be controlled as a normal first person camera. To do that, with the camera still selected, we want to make sure we tick Use Pawn Control Rotation, then go over to Third Person Character Self, or just the name of your blueprint, Self, and tick Use Controller Rotation Your. If we compile and save this, now this is going to be moving and rotating and controlling like a normal first person camera. So let's hit play and test that out. You'll see we're in first person. If we look all around like this, the camera's moving and the mesh will also be moving like this and we can move again, working perfectly. And again, I did say I'm gonna show you how to change it to maybe have just a different camera look on it. What I'm gonna do is again, very simply, just move the camera. So you can move it more further forward, further back. What I'm gonna do is move it further down. So this doesn't make much sense because it's obviously this is in the chest. Why would the camera be in the chest? That's not where you look from. But you'll notice in a lot of games, for some reason, the camera is in the player's chest. Really not too sure why games do this. I think it is just so you see the arms. But again, some games do this. Some people prefer it looking like that. So if we hit compile, save and play, you'll see we now have a lower point of view. But when moving, we should see the arms. I think it's maybe just a bit too far forward. So we hit play and duck again. And you can now see the player's hands like so. Some people prefer it like this, some people don't. It's really just up to personal preference for you. And again, it's obviously just going in, changing it, going back out to mess about with it to get it perfect for you. So we'll see that looks a little bit better like so. So this might be what you want to set up as well, a true first person camera, which looks a little bit like this. So again, get in, just change it all about to make it perfect for you to get it how you really want. But I think that'll be it for this video, which we've done everything we want to do. We've changed the camera from third person to a true first person camera, again being able to really just change it to get it perfect for you and how you want it to look. And you'll see when I jump there you can actually see the bottom of the player's mesh clipping through, which is why you maybe just move it forward a bit. And obviously if you look up you see that, which again this is why you just change it to get it looking better for you. So what you might even do is if you want it in the chest like this, you might actually just have an arm model instead of the whole player mesh. Again it's really up to you. I much prefer it just in the head positioning and that's how I always do it in my games. However, I did want to just show you how to do it for the chest as well as some people prefer it like that. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. 
And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.